various IR sidekick programs and functions operate on a selected car. As such the car selector is used to find and select the car you want to work with. This tutorial will explain the features within the car selector. As you can see, AI Edit is open and is viewing a Skip Barber roster. The AI Livery Selection window is also open, it's used to drag liveries onto the drivers within the roster. There are other tutorials explaining how to use the AI Edit program. The AI Livery window automatically selects the appropriate car for you. However, when editing a multi-car roster you will need to change the selected car. The car selector is used to do that. On the left of the AI livery window, the blue border with the title, Car Selector, is hiding the car selector. Click on the right arrow to open the car selector. As you can see, the Skip Barber car is currently selected. We can use numerous features to find and select the car we are looking for. Down the bottom in orange we can see that only 10 filtered cars are visible. If we click the down arrow on the filters border, we can see the filter settings. So only AI enabled cars with AI livery are being shown. If I turn off the AI livery filter we can see all AI cars. If I turn off AI enabled cars we can now see all cars. The filter checkboxes have three states. No setting means they play no part in filtering. Across means not, so if I click the AI checkbox I am now viewing cars that are not AI enabled. As you can see, there are now 58 filtered cars. A tick means must have, so if I click the AI checkbox again I am now viewing cars that are AI enabled. As you can see, there are now 95 filtered cars. The B lap checkbox refers to the existence of AI racing B lap for each car. This is a good way to filter the list to cars you regularly drive. The controls checkbox refers to the existence of car specific controls. The paint checkbox refers to the existence of paint for this car within the iRacing paint folders. The AI livery checkbox refers to the existence of AI livery for each car. The random checkbox refers to the existence of random livery for each car. There are other tutorials explaining IR Sidekick random liveries. Finally there is a text filter which searches all car fields matching every word you type into the filter. Let's reduce the list to road cars by typing road. I can keep adding words to the filter to reduce the number of cars listed. I'll add GT3 to the filter. I'll further refine the search by adding 992 into the filter. Let's select the GT3R. The car selector automatically closes when you select a car. This gives more room on the user interface for other content. That's a quick walk through the selector. The two main points to understand are, 1, the checkboxes are three state, blank means no action. Cross means not or exclude. Tick means must have. 2. When using multiple checkboxes, all of those conditions must be met for cars to be listed.